Hey friends, I wanted to share a little video about my first trimester experience and some first trimester considerations or guidelines in case you're kind of jumping the gun on this program a little early and are in that week one to 12 range and just want a little advice. So um, I first went to the, well, I had been to the doctor previously and she said, personally, you don't have any lifting restrictions. Um, you can run, you can jump, just don't do any contact sports. You can do yoga, whatever you were doing before um, is fine. Just kind of reduce the intensity a little bit if you need, take more breaks if you need, just listen to your body. For me, that meant that I personally only did a little bit of like high intensity and jumping type exercises in the first trimester. I only ran a couple times. Um, it was really hot, super hot where I was living. And so I didn't want to overheat. That is a big concern. You want to make sure you're not overheating and you want to make sure your baby is getting enough oxygen and blood flow. So I personally mostly did like bodybuilding, weight training type workouts and incline walking for cardio. I did a little bit of biking as well. Um, so it was definitely more simple, not as athletic or fun as I was used to doing, but that's okay. It was a phase. It was, I mean, a few weeks worth and now I'm feeling a little better, a little ready to push myself again to whatever extent is appropriate for that week. Um, but coming from someone who in past years, previous years was very regimented and hard on myself and wanted to stick to a certain plan or intensity, like I, I was fueled by intensity. Um, let's give ourselves permission to listen to our bodies, to back off, to view any movement as great, as better than nothing, but also to balance it with rest. I didn't feel like doing a ton of yoga my first trimester. Um, going upside down kind of made me dizzy. So even like down dog, I was like, I just kind of want to do cat cow a lot. So I did a lot of cat cow um, and a little bit of hip opening and a lot more gentle practices. Um, again, we will do a yoga consideration video. Some people are just like, listen to your body, make sure you're not folding and compressing and twisting too much. But other than that, things should be fine. Other people are like no inversions, no arm balances, no twists. You see a wide range of recommendations. Find what works for you. Um, personally, I decided to take it easier. Walking was great. Walking uphill was so great. Doing more simple bodybuilding, like an upper body day, a lower body day, or a push-pull leg split. Um, that served me well for the time being. It's a little more boring, but it kept me strong and I kept my heart healthy by doing the walking. So. Um, yeah, just give yourself permission to modify. You're literally growing a human. The first trimester, you have a ton of hormones in your body and some people feel super nauseated. I thankfully didn't struggle with that too much. I was just fatigued. Like I needed to take a nap every day and um, yeah, everyone's different. So even if you don't work out for a couple weeks, it's okay, you'll get it back you'll hopefully start to feel better and start to find a happy medium. Um, all right, what else did I wanna share? If you, for sure, for sure before you do anything, talk to your doctor, um, especially if you have any type of bleeding or excessive cramping um, or a hemorrhage of some sort or anything where something is just in a precarious situation you need to get permission from your doctor and they probably will tell you to take it easy for a few weeks until a follow-up appointment. But each person is individual. Please listen to your doctor. Please listen to your body. I will be here as a guide going forward. I'm super excited for you to enter your second trimester. It's definitely a relief. This whole process is never a certainty. So it's not like some magic switch goes off and you're like, oh, everything's fine. But you'll definitely hopefully find some relief in the second trimester. Um, so I'll be a guide, but as always, modify as you need. Listen to your doctor and your own body. And yeah, I just wanted to share my personal 
first trimester experience. I did get my box jump PR literally on week four of pregnancy because um, I had been training for it. And I did it the day after I found out I was pregnant. And then after that, I was like, I'm gonna stop jumping for a while. So um, yeah, that was a good decision for me personally, but some people can do all the things they were doing beforehand. Just uh, be in your own body and be in your own journey alongside others, but not competing with others is what I would say. So I will see you in the second trimester.